Hey guys, so if you want to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. If you want to follow me on Instagram, look at my Amazon storefront, and follow me with Follow my podcast called I Talk A Lot and read it five stars, even though I've not posted an episode in a very, very long time. So, I'm just going to say trigger warning. I will be talking about eating and weight gain and weight loss. So, this is just a big, fat, giant trigger warning for you guys. If you guys do not want to hear this, I completely understand. You can just skip out on this video. I did an podcast episode fully on like my entire thing where I went into more detail right now I'm probably like 140 something like I'm a lot like a lot when I'm four feet 11 and a half and I'm really short and you add a lot of weight onto a really short person it all it shows like it looks like you're overweight and you kind of are for me personally, I am, I guess I would consider it obese, not overweight. Maybe, I don't know what a doctor turns, but I consider myself obese because I'm like, I'm like 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds over the weight I should be. I should maybe even like 50, 60 pounds. Like I should really be in like 90 to 100 pounds, at least that's what I consider because that was where I didn't look like I'm pregnant like and when I say I look like I'm like a couple weeks maybe a few months pregnant like it really does all the weight that I gain doesn't go into my face it doesn't go into my feet or my legs I mean sometimes it does go into my thighs but all of it goes like literally right down to my stomach like literally I have like a giant pouch it literally looks like I'm pregnant and I'm not being dramatic, it really freaking does look like I'm pregnant. And oh my, yes, I know I need to lose weight, but it's so hard to lose weight. Like one, I don't exercise, so. But also I I have terrible portion controls. Like it's so bad. Like I love me some pasta, but like when I have pasta, I can't just eat a small bowl. I have to eat a lot of it. And that is why I do not want to have any pasta in the house, even though my dad makes it. And it's like, I can't not not eat the pasta. Like I love sandwiches and I used to eat like four sandwiches, like the sunbeam bread. I would make four of them because like I was so hungry. Now if I do eat it, I normally make two of them. So I've gone down four to two. Not the greatest, not the best, but let me tell you what. Like, again, my portion controls is awful with a lot of things during the pandemic. I think I I lost a lot of weight because I forced myself. This is not very healthy. I would literally force myself not to eat. And I would eat this one big meal. And that was my meal of the day. And then, you know, but now it's like I either, I have a hard time where it's like, I have to eat at the perfect time. And that is so hard because it could be like, in the middle of the day like at 12 or 1 or 2 and then it's like I end up still being hungry later and then it's like not enough so then I overeat I consider overeat like eating two or three meals even though that's what a normal person would say that's pretty normal but for me I don't like eating three meals a day that is just my thing I don't like breakfast if I do end up eating breakfast it's a, like a big breakfast or it's like a small breakfast and then for lunch it's either a medium lunch or something it's just a lot like I don't eat very well I'm very picky with my food it's like literally so picky I hate eating vegetables and even if I do end up eating vegetables I don't eat a lot of it and I get in the mood to where I feel like oh I want a salad but it doesn't mean I every single day I'm gonna eat a salad like I've eaten crap this week like literally this week I my sister and I made mac and cheese like my favorite mac and cheese that she made and I literally felt like I I practically ended up like eating all of it not realistically during it but I did a lot of it and I feel like I gained like 5,000 pounds from it probably not I probably gained like maybe 10 maybe 20 pounds I actually don't know but it there's a lot of cheese there's a lot of butter and it's freaking really good being at my close to 150 is the highest I've ever been. I was always going to be like, I'm never going to get to that. When I hit 120, I was like, 
not pass out when I hit 130. I was like, not pass out. 135. I was like, I'm not going to get higher than this. And then I did. So I think my lowest I was ever, I was really sick at, like really, really sick. And I could, I wasn't eating anything except for just pasta and then water and then Dr. Pepper also. But besides that, like, and I slept a lot. I probably was, the lowest was 70s, like not at, not actually at 70 pounds but like i was past 80 80 pounds probably around like 78 79 pounds 80 pounds which was like the lowest i've ever been and i would force myself to stick under 100 pounds and once i hit like 90 pounds i would go off my eating once a meal a day meaning where like i would still eat once a day but i wouldn't like restrict myself to only eating small amounts of food. I know I need to get better on my diet and I know I need to get better at my working out, but like, oh my gosh, I hate walking, I hate running, I hate drinking, jogging, I hate working out. I've always hated it ever since I was younger. When I did gymnastics, I hated it, I never liked it. Like I didn't feel good after the workout. I did not feel good. Everyone says, oh, once you get your endorphins running, you feel so much happier and healthier. And for me, I just never felt happier or healthier after completing my gymnastics meets and my, my practices. Like, I, I did not feel any way. Like, I just felt, I didn't feel worse. I was just tired. But I almost never felt happier. Um, I just kind of felt like, meh. And so maybe that's just me. I'm not like one person who doesn't end up feeling better after they worked out. And I used to be like a medium in pants and now I became like a large in pants. And like, I don't even know what size pants I am. I mostly go through juniors, but if I was like a new, like if I were to look in the women's, I think I was like maybe like a four to six. Now I think I'm like 12, maybe 14. I don't know, I'm kind of, I really don't remember. I just never understand women's size, it's so confusing. But yeah, I have gained so much weight and I need to lose. And it's so hard just because there's so many good foods. And like when there's pasta inside the house, I want to eat it. And then when there's like healthier foods, I don't like the taste of it. I think it tastes bad. Like I just, I don't like Brussels sprouts. Sometimes I like broccoli, but I don't always love broccoli. I have to feel in the mood to eat broccoli and like green bean casserole and green beans and spinach casserole. And I don't like spinach saute. And I know part of me still is like, I, I know having and eating is bad and what I was doing in the pandemic was terrible even before the pandemic I was not I was constricting myself but like part of me still is like I can't get back to that point of like not eating and only eating like a small amount or like only just drinking water or only drinking coffee or whatever literally right in front of me I have a bag of Kit Kats and I have actually not normally I would eat like an entire bag of Kit Kats all in one night. I literally think I only ate three Kit Kats and that's it. I haven't even touched the bag. I keep meaning to, but it's just like, I'm like not feeling for it. But like Dr. Pepper, I love Dr. Pepper. Like this, like it's so good, but like I can't, like I can't drink it all in one sitting like I used to be able to do. I mean, sometimes I can if I'm really feeling up to it, but like most of the time, like it just takes me forever. I tend to always overeat. I'm not very good at getting better at things. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I seriously need to work out, but my feet tell me. And I used to go out with my friend and walk and I've lost the stamina to be able to walk. So now walking like hurts, like my feet are in pain. Um, just because I used to be able to withstand walking and standing and now I can't like stand. I just always have a problem with standing, but I was able to withstand it a little bit longer than just like 30 minutes. I could, like, I think I was able to probably get up to like six, seven hours if I really wanted to, where I could walk inside of a mall with my friend and just like stand and walk through, like the mall of Georgia was like really big, you would have to go up 
the escalators and down the escalators or stairs. And I couldn't withstand that. But now if I were to do it today, I could not like last maybe 20 minutes is tops. Even if I had tennis shoes or not, I would, my feet would die in that short amount of time. So I hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.